Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. Well, uh, today I'll be telling you how to use, how to send a uh, mail from Gmail, one of the most most popular email programs that we have around. Uh, to send a uh, email from using Gmail, you have to go to Compose Mail. Click over here, and now a new page opens. You see, it says Send save now or discard once we are done with writing our email we will be pressing this button to send it if we have written down the mail to some extent and would like to write it later to complete it later then we'll click on save now or if you want to delete it the draft we can click on discard and this too this means to the uh, uh, this refers to the name of the, the email ID of the person to whom we want to send this email like I would be sending this email to my official ID which is email ID which is contact at the rate my e lesson dot org alright and that's it now you see over here add cc add bcc uh, this means that Add CC means if you click on it, it uh, it means a carbon copy. So you can send this mail to someone else also. Uh, now I can type in my other email ID, which is say, or I can type send it to myself also. I can keep myself in copy, or I can send it to anybody else. Lay like say, Excel made easy. Or my other ID say S U P P O R T at the rate my e lesson dot org and you can if you want to type in another email id just press enter and type another email id make sure it is a valid one and add bcc what does it mean well it means blind carbon copy uh the, p the person's email id mentioned in two is visible to the person's id met to the people mentioned in cc and vice versa however while if we keep somebody in BCC, then the people mentioned in 2 and CC will not know whether this mail has been sent to someone keeping in BCC. However, the person to whom the mail has been sent keeping in BCC would be able to know who is in the 2 list, who is in the CC list. Alright? And subject is, you one should always write down a subject. Uh, uh, it should relate to the matter in the mail like this is a test mail and now we move on to the body we can type hi we are writing a test and I would be doing a grammatical mistake over here uh, a spelling mistake over here to use one of the features of Gmail I I wanted to type M A I L. However, I have just typed mal, so uh, it has come under red. So, which means we can use the check spelling feature. We click over here, check spelling, checking, and it has come over here. So we double click it, we single click it, and it will give us these options. So we need to ignore this because it did not give us the right option. So we can type it in. All right. Now this is bold formatting if I want to make something in bold so this got has turned into bold this is for italics I want to do it in italics so this has turned into italics this is underline I can have anything in bold and underline and italics <laughs> and this is to change the font font style style like comic style we'll choose this one complete one and then we'll change the font you can try with fonts, play around with fonts. But uh, official mails or uh, professional mails should be in a real font. That's the best one. This is to play with the uh, text size, like we keep it in huge. We first of all need to select it and then we keep it huge. Let us see what happens. <laughs> and this is for text color and this is for highlighting. Say I want to highlight test mail. So I click over here and I choose a color usually yellow color is used to test or to highlight something this is to insert a emicon you want to insert a smiley choose any one say I choose this one 
and I press enter and that's it I double click here single click here and it's gone if you want to enter a link so we can type in a link so for example we need to type in a website address like our Facebook page uh, www dot facebook dot com slash my e-lesson click on OK link to a web address you can even link it to the email address and it would come over here you can change this without highlighting so double click on it and the highlighting would go or oh, we'll take it away see you can either change and remove it also if you want to remove if you want to remove the formatting just click on plain text oh we have to click once again over here we bring it on white see and then if you want to give in some numbering over here we can do that this will give us numbers test see everything is coming under this section so we need to everything is coming under bold and under uh, with underlines and with the yellow text because we have chosen it so let's one click them on one click on them once again and this would go away test now enter right w r i t e oh ho now it will not come that way see e n t e r e n t e r we just check them uncheck them all right so you can even enter bullet points like this test one this is how it can be done and this is for indent less indent more and you can use quotations this is for left alignment this is for center alignment of text and this is for right alignment and you can if you want to send it in plain uh, text you can click over here and it will go in plain text all this formatting would be gone and now we can send it just click on send and the mail is gone so this was a lesson on how to you how to send a mail using gmail hope you enjoyed it well it was a pleasure interacting with you have a wonderful day ahead